be strong. The E-2D Advanced Hawkeye is among those being eyed by the Philippine Air Force for a potential AEWC requirement in the future. The E-2D aircraft are expected to give the Philippines the ability to effectively provide situational awareness of air and naval activities in the Pacific region and to augment its existing fleet of E-2C Hawkeye AEW and C aircraft. The E-2D aircraft would be a good choice for the Philippine Air Force since we already have the platform which would make logistics and maintenance easier. Airbus IAIC-295 AEW and C, Gulfstream G-550 C AEW, and Northrop Grumman E-2D Advanced Hawkeye not a fan of turboprop aircraft I prefer jets. But does have its advantages lower operating costs and can stay in the air a bit longer. Nonetheless, Regardless of which option the Philippine Air Force takes it should consider getting more than two AEW and C aircraft ideally three to four which also do other missions such as maritime surveillance. The Philippines could use three to five Hawkeyes or equivalent, but not a high priority as these would be mainly for controlling aircraft for air-to-air -air intercepts. The Philippines could use three to five Hawkeyes or equivalent, but not a high priority as these would be mainly for controlling aircraft for air-to-air -air intercepts. E-2D Hawkeye is an all-weather tactical airborne early warning aircraft. The E-2 was the first aircraft designed specifically for its role, as opposed to a modification of an existing aircraft, such as the Boeing E-3 Sentry. Variants of the Hawkeye have been in continuous production since 1960, giving it the longest production run of any carrier-based aircraft. 